It was the teacher sex scandal that made headlines around the world. Deborah Lefebvre, a Florida high school English teacher who had sex with her 14-year-old student. One year later, she pled guilty to two counts of lewd and lascivious behavior involving a minor. The public outcry was tremendous. And while there may have been many similar cases since this time, none seemed to generate the outrage that was directed towards her. She's one of America's most notorious sex scandal school teachers. Teacher Deborah Lefebvre was back in court today. Made headlines for having sex with her 14 year old male student. Pleaded guilty in 2005. The statuesque blonde, Deborah Lefebvre, who in a 2006 interview with Today Show's Matt Lauer admitted to having sex with a 14 year old student at school, in a car, and at her home. Why aren't you scared to death he would tell someone? Obviously not, because I did it again. And again. And again. 24 years old at the time, Lefebvre blamed her actions on being bipolar and hypersexualized, claiming she had been raped when she was a teen. Mental illnesses are real. They could cause good people to do bad things. Her attorney famously told the judge she was too pretty for prison. In the end, Lefebvre pled guilty to lewd and lascivious behavior. She was sentenced to just three years house arrest, but branded a sex offender, never to go near children again. Now 37, Lefebvre has remarried, had twin boys, and she says turned her life around. Now, a new book detailing her life before, during, and after her crime is out, and we have the first TV interview with its author, Joe Zuniga. Joe, thanks for being with us. Deborah actually signed off on the book, and I know you're a very good friend of Deborah's. Let's go back to 2004. Deborah was 24, the student was 14. What do you think she saw in a 14 year old? What attracted her to him? I, I believe it's, it was more about um, she felt like a, a, like a friendship. You know, she really didn't think that she was doing anything wrong at the time till the whole sexual encounter happened. That's when she was like, you know, wait a minute, I, I, this has gone too far. But by then it was too late. And Joe, you say in your book that Deborah was abused. How so? Uh, she was sexually abused as well. Uh, there's, there's rape in the book. It happened during early childhood and then uh, throughout, I believe it was yeah. high school. Yeah. There's a, a long history of, of uh, stuff that happened in her life before getting to you know, her, that whole scandal. And of course, Deborah is now a registered sex offender. That label is going to be with her forever. How do you think she deals with that? Well, she has to report every month uh, with the sheriff's department uh, as a sex offender. And um, it's it's almost become normal to her. Um, she, she, she does what is expected of her, but she understands that she has to do it. You know, she has to pay for her, her crime and she accepts that. And it's been almost 14 years since this all happened. How does Deborah look back on it now? What has she learned from all this, you think? Well, she, she of course, she has regrets. She, she, she's sorry for what she did. You know, what she does is, is she goes to church and she prays and, and she asks God for forgiveness and, and uh, she does what she has to do to, to fulfill her, her legal obligations. Joe, what is Deborah's life like now? Um, it's pretty stable. Uh, she's a housewife. Uh, she she's raising two children. Um, she's she's doing very well. Uh, she's happy, and uh, e even though it comes up in the media and the news, and and people still recognize her in the streets, and she still gets you know mean comments here and there, but you know she's learned to cope with that and tries to continue on with without affecting her family. Joe, is Deborah receiving any money from the proceeds of the book? And if not, why did she decide to take part in this? No, not at all. Actually, uh, if it sells well, any of the revenue that comes in, the percentage is going to go to charity. As far as receiving any money personally, she, she is not. Joe, thank you so much for joining and speaking with us. 